Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Deanna Lee. I recently put out my spring trends video because I'm very excited for spring fashion and I have a little haul for you today. So today I'm going to be trying on pieces from Naked Clothing as well as some Revolve brands via Fashion Pass. So I've never shopped from Naked Clothing before, so this is gonna be totally my first impression. This is not a sponsorship or anything like that. I don't have a discount code for you, but I did use another creator's discount code. I used Delaney Childs' discount code, which I think is Childs. So if you wanna save 20 to 30%, you can use her code and support her. She's an amazing creator. Be sure to check out my Spring Trends video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you wanna see how I style these pieces, but you can also follow me over on TikTok and Instagram to see how I style them as well if you prefer over there. All right, without further ado, let's get into try on my little haul. So here is just a kind of basic tube top, but it's a very structured tube top. So I was kind of going for that more structured and elevated look. Right off the bat, the quality of this is super nice. I love the material and I love the way the stitching is. It needs a little bit of an iron and I wanted to try to style it with the skirt. I think the skirt is kind of causing it to bunch up. I'm going to try it with a different skirt. <laughs> okay, that looks so much better. It still does kind of bunch up on me, I think because I have have fuller hips. I ordered a 32 in this. I'm usually a double zero or a double extra small in tops, but I actually think I could have sized up. Definitely if you are fuller chested, size up in this. I think it's super cute. It does have some stretch to it. I think it's worth keeping. It has a nice zipper. It's really well structured and designed. I think it's a beautiful closet staple, but I wanted to style it with this little neck scarf that I got. And there's one other way I wanted to style this as well, which I'll show in a moment. I think this is perfect for spring. And this was the concept <laughs> to kind of wear it as like a little matching set. The whites are not the same exact shade, whereas I feel like on the website they looked very similar, but I still think this is super cute. They're very slightly different, but still totally a vibe. And let me show you the other way I wanted to style this too. My intention with this shirt was to play into the contrast trim trend. I was eyeing this one top from Reformation, which I will pop up here that has, as you can see, like the contrast on top. It looks like you have like a black bra peeking out of a white top. So that's kind of the look I wanted to create here. I don't know if it really works because, at least not with this bra, it doesn't line up totally perfectly. But I also don't hate it. I don't know. I think I really like the shirt. It might be a tad bit tight but I think this is a really good closet staple. I don't really have a lot of structured white tops, so this is a keep. Next up, I have this red top. Obviously, the color red is the color of the year, so I wanted to incorporate a little more red into my wardrobe, but also I feel like this goes along with the trend of like very structured pieces. I didn't realize when I ordered this that it has like a hook and eye closure, which I have mixed feelings about because I like that I can wear it in different ways. Like, it doesn't just have to be all the way closed up, but it's very annoying <laughs> to do this to this top like i wanted to leave it kind of undone to show you not only how you can like style it in different ways but i wanted to show you how like annoying it is to <laughs> hook an eye all the way down this top but i guess it gives you more variety which is kind of fun like i can wear it like that if i wanted to or i could do it all the way i was thinking this would be a fun top for the office but now that i'm seeing it has that like i don't know something about that doesn't feel like was appropriate to me um, but it's very flattering i don't know if you can tell but like especially when i have the bottom open like this i feel like it gives me like the look of an hourglass i think this would be fun for valentine's day and i think this can be styled like a million ways the material is very very nice and it is fully lined which is wonderful i think the quality of all these pieces so far seems really nice so that's what it looks like totally closed i do really like it this is also the 32 i think i got a 32 in everything i do really like the color and the shape and the fit of it I'm gonna keep it. Next up, I got a couple pieces playing into the sheer trend. I thought this was such a darling little top. It is totally mesh, so this part is also see-through, but it has like a fold-over off-shoulder detail, which makes it a little more modest. It kind of covers up your chest area. And I love that the sleeves are a little long, so I can kind of wear them over my hands. I always love that. This is super beautiful. And I think that you could very easily layer a tube top underneath it for days you want to be a little more modest. Um, yeah, this is a total keep. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. The material feels really nice. I feel sometimes with mesh, they can get like caught on things and stuff like that if they're lower quality, if it's like a bigger loop knit. Um, but this one feels very good. The only thing I don't like is that you can see the tag through it. <laughs> so that's like a really bad placement for a tag. There's also a tag up there. 
So I'm probably gonna cut the tags out of this. Okay, next up we have this super fun top. I will say this flower detail is way bigger than I was expecting it to be, probably just because I'm four foot 10, so it looks much bigger on me. I really wish it wasn't cropped because I feel like the world is just moving on from crop tops, but also I don't hate that it's cropped. I love the width of the straps. I love super thin, but wide straps. I find them very flattering on me because I do have broad shoulders, but this was playing into the structured pieces trend as well as the like rose detail trend. This is definitely very floral and it's giving that rose detail. I feel like this is a perfect top for vacation. If you're going to like a resort or a beachy area, I think this is super cute. I have a skirt that I think is gonna match this perfectly, so I wanna see if I can make it look like it's like a matching set. I don't know how well it shows on camera. I think the whites are two very slightly different shades, but I think this works though. I think it passes as a little matching set. Maybe turn the knot a little more. There we go, that kind of offsets a little more. And then, that's super cute, I think. Um, yeah, what do you think? Is this a keep? I'm really torn about this one. I did also get a little bronzer on it when I was putting it on. It was kind of difficult to put on because there's no zipper or anything, at least not that I found. I don't know, I have 30 days to return it, so maybe I'll play around with it and see how many ways I can style it. Because I want to think of realistically, like how much am I actually gonna wear this? What's the cost per wear going to be? So the straps are adjustable all the way petite girlies rejoice so if you need to really shorten the straps you can hey you guys i had really high hopes for this little top it looked so cute on the website but it is just not it <laughs> in person um first of all it's cropped whereas i didn't know that i mean i guess it's not that cropped but on the model it didn't look cropped because they had it like tucked into a pair of matching pants so you totally couldn't tell that it was cropped. So I thought it was gonna be like full length and it isn't. I don't know if you can tell, but I can't even like fit my bra into it, um, which it does have padding. So you don't have to wear a bra with it, but this is such a little top that I wouldn't want to go braless in it. And look at this up close. Like it's supposed to be round, but then it kind of has this sharp detail. I don't know, maybe that's on purpose, but I just feel like the construction is not as cute as it could be. So I tried it without a bra and it looks a little better, but this has literally zero support whatsoever. Um, I'm like, I don't feel comfortable in it. So unfortunately, I think this one is going back. Um, it's just, it was so cute. I was going for that structured trend again, that quiet luxury structured trend. So I'm really sad about this one because I think it's such a cute piece, but it's just a no, this one's going back. I mentioned this, but it also has like the hook and eye closure in the back, which is so annoying because it's so hard to hook yourself closed from behind. I don't know why this brand doesn't just do zippers, but just keep that in mind if you were thinking of ordering this. Okay, this is the last piece from Naked. If you saw my last video that I did with Burlux Swimwear, I said that I felt like this swimsuit that they very kindly gifted me would look so beautiful with a lace skirt as kind of like a day to night little bit for like a day on the beach transitioning into night so i was very excited to order this i think the skirt is a little too big i'm wearing a double extra small and it's just kind of trailing on the ground but the waist is also loose this does have a zipper too surprisingly because <laughs> this is actually pretty stretchy so of all their pieces to have a zipper i'm surprised it's this one but i can kind of pull it down to be low-waisted um but then it is very long this would be a pretty easy thing to tailor I don't hate that it's trailing on the ground, especially I kind of like that look for the beach. Your skirt like trailing in the sand I think can be very cute, but it has like an asymmetrical cut. Let me go back here to make sure you can see it, which I think is really beautiful. But maybe if it was just like a little higher. Oh no, that's like weird. <laughs> Honestly guys, wait a second. This could be a dress up. This could be like a really cute beach cover up. Well, let me think about that. That may have just changed my mind. I was ready to get rid of this, but let me know what you think about this. Is it too big on me? Should I return it? Should I keep it? Um, I could also, I have a black slip that I could wear underneath it for when I just want to wear it as a regular skirt. I wore it with these shoes on purpose too because these shoes catch everything they come in contact with. <laughs> so I wanted to see if it would catch the material. But so far we're good. Like I mentioned earlier that like higher quality sheer fabrics won't catch against like, like rhinestones or anything like that and so far this is not catching the fabric at all, which is a very good sign. That means this is very high quality. Let me know, I'm really torn about this one. I think I love it, but I think it might also just not be the one because the fit is a little off. Moving on to the pieces I got from Fashion Pass this week. Uh, if you don't know, Fashion Pass is a rental service 
but you can keep any of the items that you like. So if you see anything you like and you want to try out the service, I do have a discount code with them. It's just my name, Deanna Lee. This video is not sponsored, but that code will get you $50 off if you choose to try out Fashion Pass. And this top, I specifically wanted to try out, again, the flower trend. Um, I really like the way it fits. I think it's so cute, but unfortunately I do think I am going to send it back because as soon as I start to move, it slides around like crazy. I actually wore this around in the city yesterday and I taped it to my bra to try to help it stay up and it didn't really do anything. This material is so silky that it just continued to fall off. So I feel like maybe if you were wearing this to the beach, it would be really cute, but also I feel like the bodysuit is too short on me and I'm only 4 foot 10. I do have a long torso for my height, but I still feel like at 4 foot 10, it shouldn't feel like the bodysuit is super long. I think that's part of why it's always sliding around and these little um, the hanger loops are constantly falling out as well. You also have to double knot the top, otherwise it comes undone. I think what this would benefit from is like um, a rubber trim. So like this top from Naked has it, if you know what I'm talking about, when tops have this kind of like rubber trim on the inside to help them stay put, I think this top would severely benefit from that. But it's so cute and I think the fit is just gorgeous, but I also have too many black tops. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to return this and then I'm going to DIY something like this, but with a white bodysuit. I mentioned in my last video that fuller skirts are going to be trending this spring and summer. I thought this one was so pretty. It's such a nice color. It's like a little touch of green, but still kind of neutral and it does have pockets as well as a lining. I really like it. I think it's so cute, but when I posted a poll on my Instagram, everybody said to return it. So I don't know. Let me know what you think of this skirt. Maybe I need to style it in a way that's cuter. That was also before I steamed it, so I did steam it. It was very wrinkly in my Instagram reel, which I'll post up here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's already wrinkled again a little bit. I also don't hate the wrinkling. Something about the way this wrinkles is very summery and like carefree. But let me know what you think about this because I really like it, but if everybody else hates it, maybe I'm not seeing what they're seeing. So let me know what you think about this. So next up is this top from Fashion Pass and I think it's so cute and so chic. This is going along with two trends. I feel like it's kind of that structured trend, that quiet luxury structured trend, but then also it's like reminding me of the apron trend because this fit reminds me very much of an apron, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing an actual apron. Like, I feel like this plays into that trend for now, but then for years to come, I'll be able to wear it without feeling like it's dated. Also, it has like this look of a drop waist because it comes down so low. Because it has this cut in the middle here, I feel like it's still doing a lot to elongate my legs. The only reason I'm torn about this is because I feel like it looks a little long on me. What do you think? But I feel like if it was like, I feel like if it was like that, maybe not actually, that looks too short now. Maybe I just got used to it. But yeah, like that, that's the length it needs to be. So about an inch shorter. Again, I am 4'10", so that kind of thing is to be expected, but let me know. Do you think it's too long? This is what it looks like from the back. It almost looks like a super mini dress over my pants. So I'm playing with that like dresses over pants trend a little bit. <laughs> But I think this neckline is so gorgeous. I don't really see this neckline on clothes, but it's giving like new look Dior from like the 1950s. That's what it's reminding me of, or just like that era of fashion in general. Very Audrey Hepburn without being overly retro looking. I love that. I love touches of like old tiny glamour without looking like you're stepping out of an old film. You know what I mean? I know I have a lot of black tops, but I am going to keep this because I don't have a lot of sleeveless tops that I can wear to the office in the summer. So I've decided this is definitely a keep. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this as it gets warmer. Okay, last but definitely not least, this dress, again from Fashion Pass, plays into two different trends. So this is the sheer clothing trend again, but also the crochet, like the, warm weather knit trend that I mentioned. This knit is so luxurious. I mentioned in my spring trends video that these kind of very artistic textures on knit clothing is very in for the season. I'm loving this neckline. Clearly I had two pieces like this, um, which is surprising for me because I actually feel like with broad shoulders, this might not be the most flattering, but I don't care. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Um, and I just think this is a gorgeous like day to night option. Again, when you're on the beach, 
Um, I am wearing a swimsuit underneath. The swimsuit is from Victoria's Secret. If you're curious, I can link it below if they still have it with my little pair of vintage kitten heels. Kitten heels are also a trend this year. So I thrifted these, unfortunately, so I can't link them. But Betsy Johnson came out with a pair of heels that I think are very similar. So I'll link those down below if you're interested. Hey Google, stop. That was my timer to tell me to stop filming. <laughs> so let's wrap this up real quick. Yeah, this is a keep. This is a Hellyness through and through. I fell in love with it when I put it on. And what I love about it is that we're getting that see-through trend, but it's not too see-through for me. I feel like it still gives me a lot of coverage, especially because you can choose what you wear underneath. So you could totally wear a bodysuit or even like another dress underneath, like a tube dress underneath if you want it to be extra modest. I like it with the swimsuit. I think it's really cute for the beach. So yeah, I love this so much and I don't have a lot of dresses in my wardrobe. So this is a hell yes all the way. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for my spring lookbook, which will be coming very soon. Once I kind of fill up my spring wardrobe a little bit more, I'm going to put that together for you. And hopefully once it actually starts to get warmer out, I might do another spring haul before then. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if there's any specific stores you would like to see. Be sure to check out my spring trends video. If you haven't already, I'll have it linked somewhere up here. And as always, everything will be linked down in the description, as well as any discount codes I mentioned. Don't forget, you can also check me out on TikTok and Instagram if you want to be besties. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed today's little haul and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.